And from last year, 2023, I have Lego Harry Potter Character Encyclopedia New Edition. Hardcover for this. There is the back. So, Lego and DK is 198 pages. So hop in your TV to check all this cool shit out. So table of contents, this covers from Sorcerer's Stone to Fantastic Beasts. And I don't think I've covered this book on the channel. I actually have to look sometimes because I've actually gone over stuff and I was like, oh, that's nice. I did cover it. Uh, so you have your magical file. You got the year it came out, the set, and the accessories or sets. And details on every character and where they appeared at the top. Do I like these books? Definitely. I like these encyclopedias. They're small. They're easy to manage. They're not difficult. They are very, they're just, they're easy go-throughs. They're easy to read. It's a great introduction if you're trying to track down Lego sets of Harry Potter that you don't have. Or if you're just a diehard Harry Potter collector and you need to have everything Harry Potter that's cheap. This is definitely a good route for you. Because I know a lot of collectors want to get the stuff that's not expensive versus the cheap stuff. Or vice versa, I should say. Do I like Harry Potter? Definitely. Do I need this book? Nah. If I bought everything I wanted that I've covered book-wise, I would not have room. Honestly, I wouldn't. <laughs> so. Yeah. But. And I've done my reviews on Harry Potter films and Fantastic Beasts as well, so you can check them out at your leisure. Um. Yeah, these books are great. I like the. It's a good partnership between Lego and DK Books. I love it so much. So. But if you hate Harry Potter because you can't separate J.K. Rowling from the franchise, well, that's a you problem. Not a me problem. It's a whole you fucking problem. Yeah. Eh, that's cute. Um, I know a lot of these minifigures are expensive, depending on who you're looking for. Because, you know, it's Lego, so naturally it's going to be high-priced. Eh. But I like cheap books like this because... And I say cheap because it'll start out at 20 bucks, and then... It'll drastically drop down to like 11 or even 9 sometimes. Because it's easier if you don't want to buy all the sets and you just want to see all the sets collected together. It's a better deal. Who is my favorite wizard? I like, um, oh Jesus, Hermione actually, that's right. I forgot the minute. I forgot about that shit. Takes me a while to think. And McGonagall's good. Hermione's good. <laughs> Harry's cool, but like not my topic, to be honest. Do I have any Harry Potter sets? No, I don't, unfortunately. I can't afford Lego sets, they're too expensive. I wouldn't even buy the minifigures because it's money I'm trying to save. <laughs> Although I feel the thing I feel they should have done with this is put all the characters together instead of separating it by movies. But I get why they did movie separation because it's smarter. Yeah. 
So, do you hate Lego? This is definitely not for you. But if you happen to enjoy Lego, well, there you go. You'll have a good time going through this book. And there's no index for this, which is great. Kind of surprised by that. I thought there would be one, but no. And I do enjoy the movies and the books. She's a total cunt. But yeah, I, it's hard to pick. I would say... I mean, yeah, the books are better than the movies because you get the full story and he's the ghost. But also, the movies are definitely one of those mainstays of my childhood. Yeah. Because, you know, lightning in a bottle moment for being a teenager and shit. Yeah. Or, I should say tween into teenage, but to teenager. Yeah, because when this came out in 2001... I was, yeah, I was 14. Wow. Damn old. God. I'm getting old. <laughs> Crazy. But it is amazing, though. He's pretty cool looking. But he also kind of looks like Zod. <laughs> so, yeah. Deathly Hollows. Almost done. Ow. Pious Thickness. <laughs> okay. Okay then, that's funny. <laughs> and the next generation. That's cool. Text the background's good, which is really nice because I do like that kind of shit. Plus, this is a bright, colorful book, so it's not going to be, you know, hard to read unless you have vision issues. You know, magnifying glass will help. So, that is it. On to the next one.